catch me at an inappropriate time. Come on in. <laughs> no, no, Daniel, I wanted to speak to you. My new male employee. <laughs> oh, don't sit. You won't be here long, and I'd like to take a look at you. How long have you worked here? <laughs> Three months. And you like it. That's great. <laughs> well, I wanted to talk to you about the office party last night. Despite what you might have seen or heard, I am not a praying mantis. <laughs> know how quickly gossip can spread around an office. <laughs> oh, I know you won't gossip, but people talk. Saying things like, why are her eyes looking in two different directions? Why is she always rubbing her hands together? Is she planning to eat someone? Why does she call for meetings like this? Meeting time, my tasty meal employees. <laughs> I understand that I can be forward, and now after speaking to HR, I understand that I shouldn't be talking about sexual cannibalism so often in the workplace. But you did catch my husband and I in a most inopportune moment. Oh, I just want to clarify that my husband is fine and he still has his head right now. <laughs> yes, he definitely still has his head right now, and even if he did it, he could still live two weeks without it. <laughs> He's not a mantis either. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're all good. All good? Good. I'll see you around the water cooler. Daniel, before you go, I just love those little pants. <laughs> Off you go. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> 